Hello there, Ian Gregg here again with good news for today. And I'm talking about being tangled up in our opinions, and this is the second part. Here's a verse from Proverbs 3.34. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favour to the humble and the oppressed. To have Christ truly enthroned in our lives means unseating the pride that sat there before. And pride is rather keen to display its splendour, and it often does it through us expressing and insisting upon our opinions. Now, you may remember, as I do, the struggle that went on in trying to make a response to the good news of Jesus Christ and his kingdom. I came up with every reason why I didn't need to be born again. From the hypocrisy evident in the church, well, that's probably fair reasoning, to my ritual initiation a long, long time ago, and living in a country that espoused Christianity as its established religion, well, that's two sets of false reasoning right there. The point is, the I in me, my ego, didn't want to bend and defer until the day it did. And then I saw a whole lot I hadn't been able to see before. Perhaps not quite a window into heaven, but certainly like turning a light on in a dark room <clears throat> and being able to see where things were. We all start by being guided by our science, being led by what we know. And it's a fair starting point, but it's not a great continuation. The Christian move should come easy because actually we get a lot of practice at it. We take an early decision that we have come to the end of what we know and what we think and only then and prayerfully will real wisdom get the upper hand and change our perspective. <clears throat> we all start by being guided by our science in quotes, being led by what we know and it's a fair starting point even if it isn't a very good continuation. Now, the move to a more Christian viewpoint should actually come easy because we get a lot of practice at it. What we do is we take an early decision that we have come to the end of what we know and what we think. Only then, and prayerfully, will real wisdom get the upper hand and change our perspective. The Lord is gracious to the humble, God's grace and favour flow to the meek. Our God has grace and favour for those who are his. Divine Holy Spirit inspired wisdom is part of that grace and favour. We can get God's leading in a situation, but it absolutely depends on us knowing we need it. And we can't make that case convincingly while we're still trying out what we think we know. I knew a man who just couldn't ask for directions. If he was lost on a country crossroads where all the roads looked the same, he, he would avoid passers-by and he would try every way and then come back before scrabbling around for a map. And actually that's a bit like us with God. We try every way rather than asking him or seeing what Bible verse might pop out to be a, a map to us. It's easier to just try what you know, but it's quicker and better to be humble and ask. That's rather like us with God. We try every way rather than asking him or rather than seeing what Bible verse might pop up to be a map to us. Somehow it's easier to just try what we know, but it's quicker and much better to be humble and ask. The essence of what keeps us from knowing God is independence and he calls it sin. Once we realise that we were made for relationship and it, it's actually a lie that it is restrictive and it keeps us from satisfaction, well then we do ask willingly and we receive. Thank you so much for listening to me and uh, I'll see you again the next time.